Pro, a Second Fang. <laughs> I can't complain, I can't complain. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. A Fang is 17 million now? What? A very nice price for that Fang, but Destructo's on dead man mode, so he had to hide his client while he would hop worlds and leave that raid. But unfortunately, while he left the raid, there was a PK awaiting for him. A PK actually caught me! He actually caught me! No way he caught me, bro! <laughs> there is no way! Switch worlds even, man! <laughs> I believe what he was trying to say was that he accidentally didn't switch worlds. He just thought he would be okay, but paid the ultimate price, not only losing the fang, but all of the rest of his gear as well. And let's hope the same thing doesn't happen to Puggin because he's trying to get an Inferno cape, but when he leaves, who could be waiting? Bring up, I got on left click. I'm turning off public, so if someone kills me, they can't advertise their clan. An easy escape for him, but if you think that's the best addition to his account, he took that brand new cape straight to Chambers and got very lucky. No way, that's a twisted bow! That's a twisted bow! I saw the red! <laughs> what? A massive addition to his account, better than those dirty, stinking, corrupted Tebos we've been seeing everywhere. But something else that Dead Man Mode players were seeing everywhere was connection lost. I saw a lot of players complaining that they were just constantly DCing and the game was crashing for some bizarre and unknown reason. And the old school team did find one reason why some players were disconnecting. If you were selecting the Leica Boss Slayer perk and you had a certain sigil activated in dead man mode your client would unexpectedly crash and they were saying please disable this perk when selecting tasks until they investigate but they were very quick on the problem and fixed this only slightly after i'm not sure if it fixed all of the other players disconnecting problems let me know if you're still having trouble hi there hungry people today we're partnering with factor our awesome sponsor Factor makes it possible for Behemoth's community to get fresh, never frozen, ready-made meals delivered right to your door. Since there's no prep, there is no mess. And since there's no mess, it allows you to spend more time watching Behemoth's channel. Click the link below or go to gofactor75.com and use code POGBASE at 50 for 50% off your first box. Dino was happily fighting this PK, and he did an outrageous amount of damage on the tracker, but then unfortunately one of this guy's buddies came running in. Is he dead? Good fight, man. I'm sorry, Overtake. He, he started on me. All right. He tried to save his friend, but just couldn't do it. Dino being far too strong, but unfortunately, Dino wasn't too strong for these two PKs. All he wanted to do was try and make a desperate escape, and he decided in a last-ditch effort there was only one way to achieve that. I don't have a plan. Um. How's telly? I don't think I'll have enough time. Believe in the house telly. Believe in the house telly. Believe in the house telly. The absolute agility king. No one was catching the speedy little ratatouille lookalike dino. Will we see anything better than that? Well, perhaps we will, because have a look at how crazy this next clip is. No! No way! No way you can do it! Now they were extremely happy about that and have a look at how many goodies there were. They posted that entitled the biggest PK of dead man mode and rest in peace to one of the Blazers members who they took out the game. G'day legends, if you want to help us get to 91,000 subs, all you have to do is drop a sub. Thank you as always and let's get back to the video.
Oh. Oh. Shit. I told you I was two out of three, bro. And not quite a PK, but after 119k, see, Fofu -fo 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 was pretty happy. And a wise man did one say two out of three ain't bad. But have a look at Greg's track. This man has been in this bank fight for over 4,000 HP worth of damage. When will it end? Now, he was too excited to say much, but we'll pause it on that loot. Have a look at all of the goodies this man just PK'd. That is an absolute behemoth. And next up in the PK scene, we have Tommy, who's on a super interesting account. It just has 34 HP. These pure brackets can be super exciting. What? It's <laughs> an HP bro. <laughs> Miss one prey, you're dead. Good fight, man. The guy literally bobbed a 38 to his 34 HP. A complete full HP stack. You'll love to see it. Second was streaming all the way from Australia. He was running this solo, but unfortunately, he was a little bit angry. There's no way I get a Elder Maul from that dog piece of raid. There's no way that out of all day i do all this i this this is trash i could listen to this beautiful hairy grizzly bear rage all day but his spinning was starting to make me dizzy Whee! i am very concerned for what tasty was talking about at the start of this clip radio do not do a genocide with your dad bro that is a messed up dude Yes, sir! Oh, buddy boy! Oh, it's too easy! Wait, 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 wait. Did you see that? <laughs> Stinky life. <laughs> but the only genocide we're gonna be seeing is Tasty absolutely slaying the drops. Another item off the collection log for this dirty, stinking main. But have a look at what Jack has just ticked off as well. Um, okay, um, um, this is awkward. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotion because here we have Doobie Dobbies and he's just received a very nice sigil from this Pyra Fiend. <laughs> but unfortunately, teleporting to Edgeville was not a good idea because there's usually PKs waiting. Now he just has to try and make the great escape so he can keep that sigil. You can see his friend spamming bank the sigil at Edge, but he wanted better than that. He wanted to take that PK on and teleport out. but you always have to be super careful teleporting to Edgeville, and George also found that out the hard way. Ah, oh, now this guy's gonna kill me! Bro, I just can't with dead man mode. I just can't. I'm f***ing dead! <laughs> Mutz grinded out this elite clue during the tournament and got a nice surprise. Gilded? <laughs> no way! I just got gilded on Jetman mode. Hello? <laughs> There's no way, dude. A beautiful little mega rare. I'm not quite sure if the rate of them is boosted or not. Unfortunately, he didn't wear it during his Inferno run, but it looks like he didn't need to. That's it. There we go. We got it. Let's go! Get out, get out, get out. The only item K9 has received from Bandos is the hilt. He's grinded out over 100. About time for another unique. Have you ever seen a more hyped reaction than that? He was up out of his chair. He was having a very happy time. But Katazu was not having a very good time because while grinding out some of the wilderness bosses, this PK have found him. He's dead! He's dead! 
He's dead! Holy shit! Holy shit! The biggest anti-PK and surprise of this man's entire life. Perp was ready to pepper this PK and let's see him run in and go for the onslaught. I don't think he has a repo on. He doesn't. This should pepper him here. Dino felt far too bad, so didn't want to PK this noob, but they had a very interesting conversation. You don't need my skim? True. Take boots off and show me toes. And there we have a Dino exposed once again. If you do enjoy these videos, please do drop a like and perhaps even subscribe if you're not subscribed yet.